three more schools are beneficiaries of multimedia classrooms, namely Granovia Secondary, Leon Hess Comprehensive, and Babano Secondary. The smart classrooms utilize large screen monitors, conferencing technology, and a host of other software advancements aimed at enhancing instruction at the institutions. Speaking at the Babano Secondary School's handover, Ambassador of Taiwan to St. Lucia, His Excellency Peter Shen says, This is a realization of efforts to create a truly connected education system through digital education, and most importantly, to build resilience within the education system through the creation, organization, and distribution of digital content. I would like to commend Honorable Minister Poyo as a former principal and educator for always putting students and education in your forefront. <laughs> students of today are the future of tomorrow, and it is only right that we invest in a better tomorrow. I think that I have the same uh, idea with district education officer. And digital education is definitely a beneficial investment. Public Service and Home Affairs Minister Honorable Virginia Albert Poyot, who is the constituency representative for Babano, welcomed the introduction of the multimedia classroom to a school in her constituency. She underscored the importance of supporting and adopting ICT in education and its connection to national development. You will understand that during the COVID-19 period, there was a great regression in terms of productivity, education. Some of you lost quite a few months of instruction, and technology will help you advance and surpass that and help in economic growth and national development. Minister for Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology, and Vocational Training, Honorable Sean Edwards says, the overwhelming Taiwanese support will help catapult the education sector into a new era and provide students access to learning that meets global trends and standards. He spoke at the handover of the multimedia classroom to the Granivier Secondary School. It is no longer acceptable in any school, irrespective of the level, infant, primary, or secondary, for lessons to be delivered with just chalk and talk or with marker and whiteboard. There is a place for multimedia in instruction delivery. And research has shown that in countries and in classrooms where technology is incorporated in lesson delivery, children learn better, they retain more things, and they have a greater appreciation for the application of what they learn in classroom to everyday situation. The setting up of the systems have been achieved with the assistance of the Information Technology Unit of the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College, of which Cleta Springer is chairman of the Board of Governors. Whilst being optimistic about the future, he had some words of caution for students. When I was going to school, uh, you know, we had, the, the, I don't know if you remember, those of you probably never heard of slate and, slate and pencil. Yeah, that was before your time. That's how far back it was. But now you have in your hand a device that really is, is the window to the world and a window to new understanding, new knowledge. Um, so it's an exciting time for you. You have technology like this that can help you to expand your, your understanding of how the world works, how things work in the world. But it's also a very challenging time. And as with everything in, the, in, in life, the things that are there to help you can also hurt you if you do not have the right mindset. The multimedia space is designed to support several areas including interactive learning and recording of music and theatrical performances. It can also be used for video conferencing, virtual tours, and interactive sports series and strategy. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology, and Vocational Training, I am Daniel Dubois reporting.